Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. It is now, I guess, Sunday, October 20th, 2013. Trying to attempt to get caught up on unboxings here. Chase McCain is hidden again. He is actually pretty hard to see. You're probably going to need to go by his hair and possibly his hand, uh, if that helps anyone. I will say this, if you go to the... Oh, well, it's my left. I guess it might be your right, but uh, it would be on the... Uh, same side as knockout tariffin is on this half of the pool table if you will so keep that one in mind that said i know i said we would do the uh legendary light core grim creeper light core grim creeper decided i'd actually go ahead and get the swappers knocked out so that's what we're going to do here this is the most recent one i got before i do that popthorns here to remind me i just made this live the cuteness contest 2013 popthorn versus wrecking ball on the blog right hand side just below the twitter feed there's a video explaining it check it out cast your vote spread the word we'll see how it goes down now that that's out of the way uh <laughs> firecracking i actually got him friday this wave two thing coming early at toys r us for me it was a three-day deal wednesday thursday and friday um can't complain though because I actually got them all. I don't have to deal with them coming out and being hard to find. And who knows, they could come out and be everywhere, you know, by Monday or something. But uh, in the event that that is the case, I figure it's good to get them unboxed and then we can kind of dive in, get into the new landers, get the Series 2, Series 3, go from there. Uh, the playthrough is coming, don't worry. Uh, it's just like I said, car show a week ago. I've not slept more than like four hours and probably three weeks at this point in time so it's it's been a bit hectic but uh the good thing is i have this to keep me going keep me excited this is fire cracking uh when i ran that poll it was a really short one basically which swap force character are you looking forward to the most i kind of called it i said i thought people would be big time into fire cracking he's got the dragon thing going on he's fire element looks like fun we saw just a little bit of him and some of the b-roll activision sent out for us to use um, and that little bit did volume for people apparently because I think he cleaned house and that one Boomjet uh, did perform admirably well and again with 16 characters and in that short of a time didn't really get to do much with it but like I said I wanted it to be initial impressions uh, I don't want it to be like you get firecracking and then you hate him you know so you change your vote I wanted it to be if all 16 were released at the start which one would you be the most excited for and I believe he kind of like I said cleaned house there as you can see the wheel up here it has changed for the wave 2 swappers you got firecracking there fire jet that's uh, firecracking plus boom jet fire shift firecracking plus night shift and fire driller uh, that's kind of a funny one there. Uh, fire Kraken's top, Gorilla Drill's bottom. And then, of course, we're back to Fire Kraken, as things should be. Fire Kraken slogan, Burn to be Wild. Uh, hopefully, it'd kind of be cool if they incorporate a little stepping wolf in there or something. Uh, that said, he is, of course, Fire Element, but no one saw that coming. However, this is something a lot of people might have not anticipated. His Swap Force ability or power, however you want to refer to it, is actually Bounce. Uh, that, of course, who you see here on the Portal of Power, Rattleshake, he is our other Swap Force that has the Bounce ability. Makes a lot of sense with Rattleshakes. You know, you picture snakes coiled up and then striking. Uh, if I'm losing my voice, bear with me. Uh, I was around a lot, of, a lot of dirt today, so uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, Firecracking, again, Bounce is going to be his Swap Force power ability, so keep that one in mind. Looks really cool. Again, I never actually saw this guy on the shelf. Uh, Toys R Us knew I was looking for him. I'd had, you know, that conference with all of them. A couple of nights, you know, talking Swap Force for like 30 minutes or something crazy. And uh, they're nice enough to say, hey, you got that other guy in you're looking for, him and Night Shift. So well, I went and picked him up, so... Uh, that's it on the back of the box. Again, you can kind of see the reinforcement here. I don't remember if I've highlighted that. That's not present on Knockout Terrafin. Is present on Gorilla Drilla. Not present on Free Ranger. This Free Ranger is one Activision sent out. Again, the reason that one on the pool table is unboxed is because it actually uh, came from the 3DS starter pack I picked up. Oh, this is reinforced. It just it doesn't seem as noticeable. Anyway, uh, I don't think I'd ever covered that. I don't know that anyone cares, but it is there. Uh, basically, what that is, it's just kind of like a... Uh, 
you know, if you tear a piece of notebook paper, you can take one of those white dots, punch a hole in it, put it there, it just reinforces it. These do have a little bit more heft than, say, you know, like your stand. That's actually really light, light core Grim Creeper. This has a bit of heft to it, of course. Well, that's probably in part to the magnets, larger size, etc. Uh, trying to fight off a sneeze here. Uh, but that is Fire Kraken's inset box art. It looks really cool. Main thing is, I think it was that last round of gameplay they sent out. Uh, it was a real short snippet of him, but he looked really cool. Uh, it got me excited for him. Fire Kraken Swap Force Skylander Creed 250 plus combination swap zone power. Again, I guess that's a technical way to say it is bounce. Again, uh, what they're promoting here, Magna Charge, Free Rangers, Rattleshake, and Hoot Loop, who are all conveniently on the pool table, so i duplicate even. Uh, the other Rattleshake uh, from the Nitro Magna Charge pack, he's on top of my TV, because once again, I have at least that much space up top. It's an old TV, so, you know, people make fun of it, but I can put Skyliners up there, and you can't, so keep that in mind. What's <laughs> up? One final look at the packaging here, again, really nicely done there. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, try to crack this guy open. We'll see how uh, these Wave 2 Swap Force guys come on box. I was having a lot of trouble with the adhesive kind of tearing the packaging on the uh, ones Activision sent out. That's probably likely the same setup, but you know, from time to time, you know, you run out of adhesive or glue from one supplier and you switch, and sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. That's, uh, this is not exactly the cleanest cut we've ever made, which is about on par for how this stuff is gone. But again, uh, if you want to keep the backs and the packages, I mean, you just got to spend the extra time. You probably got a heat gun or some method you've mastered. Uh, for me personally, you know, I like the, some of them, you know, I'll keep boxed up, but if I open it, I'm not too concerned about keeping the packaging. Uh, some of it does look really cool, though, so. Uh, for me, it's just really an issue of storage space. I don't know where I would really put the stuff, so. Slides out, just like so. We will set that down. Uh, this one is taped as well, right there around the bend. Uh, we'll come in and we'll pull that up and make sure the that card sticker sheet come out smoothly again that's the way they're situated similar to what you see with the giants there's just that kind of like you know slit in the plastic bottom there so we'll take a look at that here shortly they were turned opposite and we'll go straight in that got a final look at the packaging there i'm probably going to screw it up fire cracking burn to be wild swap zone power bounce just like rattle shake so best part of unboxing the swap force characters you should know this by now even though we've only done four of them they snap in half every time. It does not fail. Uh, it's just kind of something cool. Uh, ooh, that's looking pretty sharp there. We're going to detail that shortly. I don't have much trouble with the bottoms. It's the tops that give me trouble. That tends to be where the detail is. I try to be careful so you know, not like break anything. Uh, I've never had it happen, but I mean, I'd hate to have it happen. And I'm sure if it did happen, it would be with someone like Firecrack and it's insanely hard to find it moment and probably in the future if he did break luckily that didn't happen so um again there's no way to really look graceful when you're doing that so anyway if you didn't know how the swap for stuff worked you see the two magnets there you see the two magnets here you see the power of attraction there that's fire cracking let's go ahead we'll save that detailed look uh until we take a look at his stat guard here his power 170 of 200, that's pretty nice. Armor, uh, defense or armor, whatever you want to call it, 70 of 200. Very surprised there with the agility, as you can see him indicating for you. 170 of 200, that's the second 170. Luck, 60 of 200. Uh, that's fitting for some of the plays with firecrackers, I suppose. But uh, overall, what would that put him at? 170, 170 is 340, that'd be 4, 470 out of 800. You know, that's pretty, pretty respectable, I suppose. Then behind there, this is the full size sticker sheet. You can see that part line again. The upper body tends to be larger than the bottom, in part due to the detail and then also the Swap Force logo. Uh, below that, you've got his name, QR code, the web code, which I can't show you because some people actually do watch videos strictly trying to get people's codes. Um, if you have that much free time, I don't really know what to tell you, but you could probably be doing something more productive than that. Uh, you know. 
uh, anyway uh, this is fire crack and looks really really cool here uh, obviously he's got the fire thing down pat uh, he's coming up out of the flames he's got the yellow and red it ties in nicely kind of got like the proverbial Chinese dragon look going on uh, nice detail there on the teeth you can see the uh, sharp outer ones and incisors I guess uh, I'm not quite sure what they would technically be called uh, looks like three fingers or claws or paws or talons whatever you want to call them uh, he's got some gold armor again I'm not personally a fan of gold it actually fits this character very well I won't complain about it when it looks nice uh, cool thing though uh, you know I said it makes a lot of sense with Rattleshake being bounced, Snake's Coil, and Spring to Strike. Now that I have him out of the packaging, this is what I saw. You can kind of see that detail, kind of, you know, like the scaled or snakeskin dragon backing there. Uh, it appears that he is actually coiled as well. Right here, this yellow tip that doesn't quite match the orange, it's a bit taller, it ties in perfectly with the coloring there. That's actually the tail end of his tail. If that's the terminology for the tail end of the tail. You can kind of see it's like a trident of fire. It appears to have three, you know, kind of prongs off like so. But coming in, you'll start to see that red again. He is actually coiled, and then I guess, you know, they caught the pose essentially while he was springing upward. So that is kind of clarification, justification there for the bounce abilities. Um, again, the yellow and red, this is kind of molten hot dogish, but I think he wears it a bit better. Uh, the blue you wouldn't think would tie in well. It actually fits him. I don't know why. It just does. Uh, again, the gold armor, personally not a fan, but it ties in well. Coming around, it appears he's wearing like a navy blue uh, top or body armor or something. Backside, reminiscent to me of what you see on the back end of Double Trouble. But again, he's actually got, you know, you can see the detail as it comes into focus. Maybe you can. Uh, that's kind of like the wrap from his actual, you know, wrist or hand pads. Uh, you can see that same detail there on the lower legs a bit. Uh, he's kind of got the wrap there, the belt, or I don't know what that is exactly would be called. The cool thing here is his staff. Uh, very well detailed. Again, this is a character, if you were thinking in terms of light core, he would be very well suited to that. Granted, you know, it doesn't work well when this happens, but uh, just in the event it ever does, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, this is kind of, I guess, reminiscent. We've got Firebone Hot Dog coming out. We know that's his name now, so I'm hoping on him, you know, that the bone he's holding actually lights up at both ends. That's really the only good way I could think to even do that pose. But uh, this would be a similar situation, you know, if the swappers lit up. I think that'd be really nice. Uh, but again, very nicely detailed. You see his tongue hanging out there. I skimmed his powers in the strategy guide. Looks like he's going to be pretty interesting to play with and upgrade. But again, I do want to clarify right there. You can see the tail. It is kind of coiled like rattle shake, just not near as pronounced. And uh, he's actually then springing upwards. So uh, again, his slogan, burn to be wild. Raised on a small, small island surrounded by a vast ocean of fire, Fire Kraken was the swiftest, most agile warrior his tribe had ever seen. You can see that in his agility stat, 170 of 200. Again, very impressive there. Uh, when a fleet of fire troll ships arrived to steal the legendary Burning Heart, a huge elemental crystal that fueled the fiery seas, Fire Kraken leapt. There we go again. See there? His bounce ability. Uh, he leapt into action using a magical staff. Again, we've referenced that already. Uh... To control his natural ability to wield fire, he set the mighty ships ablaze, forcing the trolls into a hasty retreat. Having saved the Burning Heart as well as his homeland, Firecracken soon joined the Skylanders where he knew his skills would help those in need. Heartwarming and uh, hot subject, I'm sure. But uh, pretty interesting. Again, almost all these backstories open up a door you know, for personal quests, future gameplay, expansions, etc., uh, new lands, you know, there could be a deal. Chaos is returned. Trying to get the Burning Heart, you know, I mean, you could have multiple chapters of games based around tons of these backstories. So that's why I always like to include those in the mix. But uh, again, the price, I think I should have, I think Toys R Us is fifteen ninety nine on the Swappers. Uh, there's been so many different numbers I've had to look at. It's it's somewhere around there. $14.99 at most stores, $15.99 at Toys R Us. But 
Uh, and this was, I guess, your last day. I haven't seen the recent ad. I'm sure I could find it online right now, but my focus is the unboxings. Uh, they do have the buy one, get one 40% off, at least when I got these. That's why I made the second and the third updates, you know, for the characters I added from Wave 2. Goal there was to remind people, one, you could potentially find these guys, and two, you could save money by buying them now. Uh, so it's not one of those deals if they're a regular price. I probably just would have thrown a picture up on Twitter like, hey, firecracking, you know. But uh, as is, when you can save 40% on someone, you know, I do my best to help everybody. Like I said, this does get expensive. But when you go in and you think about just the time it's going to take you to upgrade firecracking, and then if you don't buy the second figure to, you know, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but reset it or try the other pass, switch, get the cash, etc., Lots of entertainment value here. So, uh, if you pay ten bucks for a DVD that covers two hours, you know this is roughly in line with the price of a movie, and I feel like you're going to get more than that. Uh, so, if you need justification for it, that's one way I look at it. Again, I'm not big on movies, but I always like to do comparable things, you know. So, uh, it takes care of itself, I feel. And at home, you don't have to get ripped off for popcorn. You can just make it yourself. Very nice detail here. Again, he's got that blue. Really seems out of place, but for whatever reason, it just works. He's kind of got that... I mean, it's like all the time in school as you grew up, you'd always hear like the Chinese New Year's coming, and they'd have that, you know, dragon, and it was bright and colorful, and all the people, I don't know how many, you know, 100 people per dragon or something, just weaving through the streets. That kind of matches what I always saw. You know, I mean, most of these are like grainy 1980s documentaries and stuff, but... Uh, fits the bill and like I said as weird as it seems it actually looks pretty good so uh, main thing though I think he's going to be a lot of fun to play with uh, again he cleaned house on that most anticipated swap force pull his basic attack that's going to be with the magic staff uh, the secondary attack on the bottom end that's going to be I believe start to show uh, press attack two up to three times firework attack on okay so this is going to be something, I mean, firecracking, you probably had an idea. Uh, he's going to have a lot of that going on, and it looks like he's also going to have, kind of like I described, you know, the chaining dragon type thing as well. So should be very fun to actually upgrade him. Might be tough to pick a path. Again, I'll get to that. Hopefully help you out. At this point in time, I don't know if there will be another firecracking, uh, you know, a variant, a special coloration, or, you know, something along those lines. But uh, it would be nice because I think he's one of those, you know, characters that's really going to lend himself well to checking out both paths. So, And again, if you're a big fan, it's not a big deal. You just pick up a second regular one, take it down the other path, and if something special comes along, you pick it up and take it down the combination of the body and legs that you prefer the best. So that said, this is Firecracking. Got him in this early release of Wave 2 at Toys R Us. He was the final piece in the puzzle. That's why I unboxed him first. $15.99. They did have the buy one, get one off sale. Uh, if for some reason you still haven't checked your local Toys R Us, definitely do so. They could have them. I have seen the Wave 2 characters added to GameStop. Uh, they weren't at Target this week when I ran up there. They weren't at GameStop. They should be coming soon. It's just we don't know exactly when, so be on the lookout for them. They are out there again. Thus far, at least in my experience, this is the toughest one to find, so I wanted to go ahead and get him taken care of. He's pretty hot to handle, as you can see there. But uh, we'll come in, and uh, we got three more swappers to go here. Gorilla Drill and Night Shift and Boom Jet round out the rest of the Wave 2 swap force, guys. So we'll take care of them, and... Uh, Questions, comments, you can ask here on YouTube. Quicker response, I could just use the blog, oneofwisdom.com. Video description, very first thing you're going to see is a link back to the blog. It'll take you straight to this post. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, burn to be wild.